In today's Number Corner lesson, we will be sharing observations and computing total inches, feet, and yards as we investigate our calendar collector for the month of September. At this point in the month, we are up to a total of 18 six-inch strips in our calendar collector paper chain that's going around our classroom. Here's a visual for you in a slide form, and we are up to a total of three yards because look, 18 six inch strips fills up the third purple yardstick for us. I want you to take a minute or so to study the yards with the six inch strips and the record sheet that we've been slowly filling out. Look for patterns you may not have noticed before. Pause the video and make one comment with an observation about what you notice. Check out how our record sheet has been filled out. Notice that all of the measurements have been recorded in inches, feet, and yards without any fractions. How could we show some of these measurements in fraction form? If we look at September 3rd, we could convert one foot, six inches, to what fraction of a foot? Check out where the third strip is. What's happening measurement-wise here? We are half of another ruler in length here. So we could convert one foot six inches to one and a half foot. That's right. Or one and a half feet. Let's convert another one. How about September 9th? 54 inches long on our chain would be right here. There we are. For this one, we're definitely a whole yard into it. You see we're on our second yardstick now. But how far along on that second yardstick are we at the end of the ninth strip? Yes! We are halfway down that yardstick, so we could write one and a half yards. That's right, for September 9th. Now you make an observation based on what you see so far. Can you make some conversions based on what you see? Pause the video and make one conversion like we've done on your own. Write which conversion you solved in your comment by writing something like we've been writing each time. Here's an example. One yard, one foot, six inches is the same as one and a half yards, which we figured out together. Now it's your turn to comment. So if you haven't done so already, please do so now. Who worked on September 10th? We multiply across, we get 10 times 6 is 60 inches in total, which is 5 feet. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So what if I wanted to just write that in yards and I leave the feet out completely? Here's your visual. And here we are. How far along on the purple yardstick are we at this point on September 10th? We're here. How could we show that in a fraction? We're over halfway down the yardstick. So here's a helpful conversion chart to consider. 36 inches is equal to one yard. So we can use 36 inches to divide up our yardstick and then determine how far we are. We also know that one yard is three feet. So we can divide up the yardstick into three equal parts. And you see that down below where I have blue boxed all three of those rulers down there. We know that one yard is three feet, so we can divide up that yardstick into three equal parts. And I don't know if you're seeing this, but notice that two feet is two thirds down the yardstick. And we can write that 60 inches is also five feet, but also one and two thirds of a yard or one and two thirds yards because we have a whole yard and then two thirds of another one. Did anyone notice that each day we get a half of a foot? Check it out. Just recently, we've added six inch strips for days 15 and 16. See the ruler down below? We keep adding half of that with our new six inch strip each day. So we can say that we add half to the last number. Check out September 14th, the number before, okay? We can add half to that because we know six inches is half of a foot. So September 15th times six is 90 inches. We could have also just added six to the 84 inches above. And then look at the feet column. Then we add half to the seven feet from above to make seven and a half feet. 
Who noticed a pattern where the number of feet is always half the number for the day? See September 12th. Whoops, I need to go back. Check out the feet column. What is half of 12? You see I have it, I have it boxed in right here, September 12th. What is half of 12? Yeah, that's right, six. And we can find half the day number to find out how many feet there are. Isn't that interesting? So if we looked at September 10th and we divide that by half, we get five. If we look at September 14th and we divide that in half, we get seven. These are great strategies. Let's use them to complete the last four days of our chart to fill it in up to September 18th. If you don't have your math journal with you right now, go get it, pause the video to copy this chart down on the next blank page, and notice I've already done the first two for you, so you don't have to write September 13th or 14th. You just have to write the headers and the title, and then September 15, 16, 17, and 18. So to review, you already know how to fill in the second column. It's just going to be times six times six. Every day is six times whatever the day it is. So for instance, if we're looking at September 14th, we multiplied 14 times six and we got 84. Another way to do this, just like I mentioned before, is to add six inches to whatever your total from the day before was for the new day. You can also use this visual right here to help you too. We can see these last few days here, 15, 16, 17, and 18. That's what you're recording on your chart. Remember, you're filling in this chart for just these days. And you don't have to use fractions for feet and yards if you're not comfortable with them yet. But I do want you to maybe try or experiment with those. Because I do want us to keep practicing how to convert inches into feet and feet into yards. We're going to check our answers with the observation chart in our classroom when you are back to school. And I'll see you then. Bye.